I've had a lot of time to reflect this week about how lucky I got with you. I don't tell you very often, but you are the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Through all the stress of planning and peppering, I forgot the real reason of why we are doing this to begin with. We are vowing to conquer all obstacles together, to love each other no matter how hard things can get. We are vowing to commit in sickness and in health, and even if I want to strangle you sometimes, I wouldn't want anyone else to do life with than you. Thank you for being there for me even when I'm a handful. Thank you for loving me even when I'm not lovable sometimes. I can't wait to see what's to come and to make more incredible memories with you. I love you, babe. Dear mom, I vow to love you and cherish you for the rest of our lives. I promise to be supportive of your decisions and understanding of your mistakes. I promise to be loyal to you and make, you, make your happiness my priority. You have made me a better person and always pushed me to be, my, be the best version of myself. You have shown me what unconditional love truly means. You put up with me and my inner child and love me for who I am. Your independence inspires me. You are my best friend, my partner in crime for life. I can't wait to start this journey with you and accomplish our goals and dreams together. We love you. What you have learned, build on it. Don't stop. Okay. The next five years is going to be very crucial, very important for your relationship. Make all the memories in the world. Get to know each other even more. Never satisfy that now you know each other so well that you don't have to worry about it. Because you get, you get caught up with this. Kareem, you may now kiss your bride. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Mawani. Uh, my sister one day came into my room and said, Armand, I think, uh, I think I like a guy. No, and, and I like this one particular guy. I met him in Excite. So she comes into my room and she straight says, Armand, look, I, I really like this guy. And I'm saying, okay, well, show me the name. You know, we Facebook stalk a little bit. And I, her first thing is, his name is Kareem. Quite honestly, guys, I know probably two Kareem's in my entire life, okay? And one of them is standing here, and the other one is Kareem's uncle. So, you know, fantastic. I, I know two Kareem's. I'm like, okay, well, if there's two Kareem's in this entire world that I'm familiar with, please show me a picture of this. Sure enough, it turns out to be my friend Kareem over here that I've been working out with for so long. So immediately I told my sister, there is absolutely no way you were dating my friend. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen you know all my life I tried I had all these crushes on your friends you said no Armand you cannot date my friends <laughs> and look what you did you broke your own rule in there Mo. right now who do you love more than, more than anyone, anyone in the world oh can we give it up for cream and your you have always been my number one chaddi buddy I have I've loved being your older brother and even as kids you took all my toys acting like you were playing with them but really you were breaking them admiring my fashion sense you would borrow my clothes but somehow I always got them back with butter chicken stains and most recently yesterday on your singit you forgot your pants so I gave you mine and I ended up pantless
Thank you.